Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. I have talked quite a bit about the failed rift zone that extends up around Michigan, Lake Huron, Lake Erie, and Lake Ontario. The split that failed happened about 100 million years ago. The failed rift has two arms. Uh, these arms meet at Lake Superior according to Wikipedia. The lake's north shore in Ontario and Minnesota defines the northern arch of the rift. From the rift, the lake's the rift's eastern arm trends south into central lower Michigan and possibly into Indiana, Ohio, Kentucky, Tennessee, and Alabama. The western arm runs from Lake Superior southwest through portions of Wisconsin, Minnesota, Iowa, and Nebraska to northeastern Kansas and possibly into Oklahoma. This failed rift, which was the separation of the continent, and this is along the North American Craton, the rift system. Here you can see Kansas, Nebraska, Iowa, Ohio, Pennsylvania, and New York. See how it kind of goes up and around and comes back down. Much of this area is now covered by sediment, but by using um, ground penetrating radar, they've been able to see where this failed system is. Using a search on Google Earth, you can see here's another image of the different sections of that failed rift. And another image from ResearchGate. This image here is areas where they know they have oil and gas deposits. Um, yeah, it was formed back when the separation occurred. Uh, so you know, see here we got Lake Ontario and we got New York. So as we get closer to a magnetic pole reversal or a flip, I've been talking about this too, you're going to see a reactivation of fault lines that had been previously dormant for a very long time. This failed rift, yeah, um, looks like it's going to regenerate. Back when the last magnetic pole reversal occurred, there was uh, great earthquakes, um, volcanic eruptions, etc. Using Google Earth, you can see here the location of this earthquake. We've got uh, Rochester, uh, Syracuse, yep, right along the edge there. Two people reported feeling this earthquake. One was near Rochester, and well, I can't really tell here where this other one is covers up the name of the location. They do not here on USGS have a moment tensor ball. Doesn't surprise me. Don't want too many people asking about a fault line along here and the direction that it possibly moved. This earthquake was very shallow. Only 1.4 miles in depth and of course I always tell you all earthquakes are measured from sea level. Uh, different manual readings it could have been as high as a magnitude 2.46. Um, what else we got? A 2.32, not the 2.1 that they're saying. Each jump in a number is 10 times uh, the magnitude. So you may think, okay, not big difference, but yeah, it is a big difference when they downgrade them. Here we got 2.38. I'm sure a lot of people did feel it, but they probably thought it was a truck going by because this is a, you know, fairly dense um, area population. We got farmland here, but they probably didn't think anything about it being such a small earthquake. Just thought maybe some truck was rumbling down the road, you know, probably just felt a small vibration. But being that shallow, the shallower the earthquake, the stronger it would feel. So, did you feel it and didn't report it? If so, put your comments down below. What did it feel like? Was it up and down, sideways? How long did it last? People that are earthquake sensitive would feel it more than others. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. Have a happy holiday. Merry Christmas. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.